prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm, Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal, Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time, Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority, Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored, Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development, Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office, Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, let us ask our Lord Jesus Christ to remove all hindrances and obstacles in our lives to the work of the grace of God in our world and so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this holy eucharist let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the lord for his pardon and strength Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. We implore your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as the feast of our salvation draws ever closer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly towards the worthy celebration of the Paschal Mystery. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, This is what I commanded my people. Listen to my voice, then I will be your God, and you shall be my people. Walk in all the ways that I command you, 
so that you may prosper. But they obeyed not, nor did they pay heed. They walked in the hardness of their evil hearts and turned their backs, not their faces, to me. From the day that your fathers left the land of Egypt, even to this day, I have sent you untiringly, all my servants, the prophets. Yet they have not obeyed me, nor paid heed. They have stiffened their necks and done worse than their fathers. When you speak all these words to them, they will not listen to you either. When you call to them, they will not answer you. Say to them, This is the nation that does not listen to the voice of the Lord its God, or take correction. Faithfulness has disappeared. The word itself is banished from their speech. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, harden up your hearts. Come, let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden up your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me. They tested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden up your hearts. Please stand. Magsisip tayo mataas ang inyong The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was driving out a demon that was mute. And when the demon had gone out, the mute man spoke and the crowds were amazed. Some of them said, By the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others, to test him, asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebul that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed guards his palace, his possessions are safe. 
But when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Jesus is speaking about the ones who are not with him, those who are against him, and those who does not gather with him. Sino ba itong mga tao na ito? He was speaking of the people at that time who hinder the work of Jesus to people. Sila yung mga taong gusto laging hadlangan ang ginagawa ni Jesus sa mga tao. These people who always criticize Jesus, they themselves become hindrances and obstacles to the work of Jesus. Sila ang nagiging hadlang sa gawain ni Jesus sa buhay ng mga tao. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, this Lenten season, Jesus reminds us today to remove the ones that may hinder and become an obstacle of Jesus' work in our lives. Ngayong panahon po ng kwaresma ay alisin po natin lahat ng mga makahahad lang sa gawain ni Kristo sa ating buhay. Minsan po, tayo mismo ang nagiging hadlang sa gawain ni Kristo sa ating kapwa. Kaya sana iwasan natin na tayo ang maging hindrance o obstacle sa gawain ni Jesus sa buhay ng ating kapwa. Baka mamaya yung katabi ninyo ay gustong-gustong magdasal. Eh ikaw naman, kalabit ka ng kalabit sa kapwa mo at may gusto kang ikwento sa kanya. Jesus is already working, but you become a hindrance to the work of Jesus. Let us avoid that temptation of ourselves becoming a hindrance and obstacle to the work of Jesus. Baka mamaya yung kapwa natin ay nagfa-fasting, nag-a-abstinence kapag panahon ng kwaresma. Ikaw naman, panayang-aya mo mag-barbecue sa kapwa mo. No? So sometimes, we ourselves become a hindrance to the work of God's grace in other people's lives. And our first reading today from the book of the prophet Jeremiah the prophet also reminds us that we ourselves can become an obstacle to God's grace working in our own lives by becoming hard-headed, hard-hearted. When we turn our backs to God, when we become a stiff-necked people, then we ourselves can hinder God's grace and God's work in our own lives. Kapag tayo po mismo ay matigas na ang ulo, matigas ang puso, at tinalikuran na natin ng Panginoon, minsan, hingi tayo ng hingi ng biyaya sa Diyos, pero tayo mismo ay hinahadlangan natin 
ang gawain ng biyaya ng Diyos sa ating mga sariling buhay. Baka mga kapatid, hingi tayo ng hingi ng biyaya sa Diyos, pero yung ugali natin ay siya mismong kumakadlang sa pagkilos ng biyaya ng Diyos sa ating buhay. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, this season of Lent, let us remove all obstacles and hindrance against the work of God in our lives. And let us also avoid making ourselves obstacles and hindrances to the work of God's grace in other people's lives. Amen. Please stand. Gathered together in Christ who conquers all evil, let us come confidently to the Father with our prayerful intentions. For every petition, let us say, Father, make us one with your Son. Father, make us one with your Son. That the church may be renewed and give faithful witness to the proper values of life and so help restore a fallen world. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make, make us one with your Son. That Christian believers may have the courage to speak out boldly in the name of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us one with your Son. That we may give wholehearted support in upholding the truth and in opposing the subtle influences of evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us one with your Son. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us one with your Son. That those who have died may be received into the fullness of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us one with your Son. Almighty Father, as we offer our prayers, we thank you for your Son who conquered sin and death who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Cleanse your people, Lord, we pray, 
from every taint of wickedness that their gifts may be pleasing to you and do not let them cling to false joys for you promise them the rewards of your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride. Contribute to the feeding of the poor. And so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels. As with one voice of praise, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world 
and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your salvation both in mystery and in the manner of our life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for an important announcement. Tomorrow is uh, the solemnity of the Annunciation of our Lord. And uh, tomorrow, Pope Francis requested uh, the whole church to be one with him in consecrating Russia and Ukraine and the whole world to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Tomorrow, we will have a special Mass at 6 p.m. to be led by our beloved Archbishop Jose Cardinal Advincula, and he will also be joined by the Apostolic Nuncio Archbishop Charles Brown, and uh, Cardinal Advincula will be presiding over the Mass, and he will be also leading us in our consecration of Russia and Ukraine and the whole world to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. The event tomorrow at 6 p.m. is open to everyone. You may come to the Manila Cathedral and join us in this celebration. And Pope Francis also asked us, even in our own homes and in our own families, to do the act of consecration to the Immaculate Heart. After the 6 p.m. Mass tomorrow, we will also have a candlelight procession of the image of Our Lady of Fatima to be held uh, around Plaza Roma in front of the Manila Cathedral. And while we are having our candlelight procession, we will also be praying the Holy Rosary. And so we invite all of you to come to the Manila Cathedral tomorrow at 6 p.m. to join us, to join Pope Francis in consecrating Ukraine and Russia and the whole world to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Let us pray the Holy Rosary together as we again have procession. Dalawang taon ko tayong walang prosesyon. Bukas po ang unang prosesyon na gagawin natin dito sa harapan ng Manila Cathedral at tayo po ay mananalangin ng banal na rosaryo para sa kapayapaan sa mundo. Let us all stand and receive the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. We call on your loving kindness and trust in your mercy, O Lord, that since we have from you all that we are, through your grace, we may seek what is right and have strength to do the good we desire. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Sorry.